Hey guys, Zero here. Today I'm playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES, and I guess you can consider this sort of a half request by my friend Arch. I say half because this was one that I was actually already considering, so when he mentioned it, that pretty much decided it for me. Like Bart's Nightmare, this is one of those games that's a favorite of mine, but still frustrated the hell out of me. I was never able to actually beat it as a kid, but I would always make it to the Technodrome. You'll see why when I get there. It wasn't until a few years ago that I finally beat the damn thing. Was it worth it? I guess? Finally said I, could, I beat the damn game? And we got the intro here, which just shows us all the turtles, and the basic setup for the story is, oh sh look, April got captured. Again. So now you gotta go save her dumbass. Probably just leave her, fuck it. I don't give a damn. And basic, uh... Game's kind of basic. You got Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello. You know, blah blah. Uh, you got the little map there for this outside part, but honestly, you're not gonna really need it too much. You got some tips from Splinter and April when we rescue her, but nothing really too important to say. And we could go into that first sewer for the real part of the game, but you know what? There's no point because it just pops out of this sewer right down here. So why not just skip it all together? We got some random foot soldiers in these roller tank things. Now, the main reason why I say that it's a favorite of mine but also frustrates me because, well, kind of like with Bart's Nightmare, I guess, the game isn't, in some aspects, the game isn't, I always do that, what the fuck's wrong with me? The game's not too bad, but for a Turtles game, it's got some issues. Uh, namely, one of the biggest things is the enemies. Most of the enemies don't really make sense. The biggest thing, the, the main ones you really recognize will be the foot soldiers. I don't give a shit about my health right now. I'll get pizzas later. That and, uh, yeah, go ahead, I don't give a shit. This is how much I give a shit about you. Come on, sa save April! Nah, fuck. Can't do anything. Yeah, and Bebop and Rocksteady, they're about, that's about it. And also, there's a lot of extra buildings in this game, like, you can go in here, and there's, it's for, for a full pizza, which I could go get, but honestly, I don't really need to. So, there's a lot of buildings that, you know what? Don't even bother going into. Same for this one. I can't even remember what the hell's in there, but I really don't give a damn because that's not the way we need to go. We have to go into this one. And this is why I didn't give a damn about the health because I know everyone who's played this has done this. You got a pizza right at the entrance. You grab the pizza. You go out. You come back in. Oh, look, the pizza's back. And you can just stock up on all your health. And you do that for all your turtles. So whenever you get the opportunity to, do it. Because, honestly, the way to beat this game, it's a game of patience and killing only what you need to kill and be as cheap as possible. And I really mean that. If you don't need to kill it, don't kill it. If you can just bypass it, skip it. If you can hack and refill your life with pizza, do it. Because honestly, it's a pain in the ass otherwise. Look at this frog bastard. Hell, even the thing that I was killing. What the hell was I killing earlier? Hell if I know. And so, don't fight it up down there. Just fight it up here. It can't do a damn thing to you. And that's pretty much what this whole game boils down to. It's just a lot of saying fuck it. And just like those, I'm not even going to kill them. Why? Because I, I don't need to. You also notice that the enemies change there to that fire thing, which who knows where the hell that's from. The game likes to do that periodically. It randomly, it hit, it's got like a good three main sets of enemies, really. And it'll just randomly shift between them, especially in certain areas. Some areas are kind of the same no matter what, like this, it'll always be those guys. I always call them jumping jacks. I don't know what the hell they're called, and I don't really give a damn. Oh, no, don't hurt my Donatello, you bastard. Now, obviously, Donatello is the best character. Why? Because he's strong as hell, and he's got the best reach. And I don't even have to explain this, because I'm sure everyone knows this damn trick, and I'm gonna do it too, because why not do it? You can just stand up here, and just... Hit him safely. It's kind of the timing is kind of weird that you got to hit it when he's jumping. But oops, too early. Even if you fought him on the ground, he's not that hard. Obviously, I mean, come on, it's Bebop and Rock City. And that's a really short first stage, but yeah. And so now we rescue April, which her sprite always looked weird. It, her face looks all fucked up there. I never really understood that. And then, here's some shit about them destroying the dam. Don't let them. You have my support. It's like, I don't give a damn. Fuck the dam. Damn the dam. And I think for the others... What the hell are you doing here? 
For the other stages, I'm going to cut it to one stage uh, per video, but for this one, because the first two stages are really short, I'm just going to throw them together. And another golden rule, I guess, is pretty much save Donatello if you can, unless you can use him safely. Save him for when you need him, because he is your savior with that long-ass bow. Raphael, and actually, you know what, as kids, we didn't care for Raphael because he had the shortest range, but actually, he's actually one of the stronger ones, and I believe it's at half health. Fucking hell. He does double damage. I suppose the other turtles, I think they gotta get lower, maybe the two bars of health. Oh, shit, I don't care. There's pizza up there, I think. But I think Donatello's naturally strong. He might be as strong as Raphael right off the bat. So, I, I, li I used to uh, always start with Raphael. Pretty much, in my mind, start with the weakest. Then move up to strong... Uh, when he gets low on health, then just switch to the next strongest. All the way up to Donatello and save Donnie for last. But, I think, as I got older, I started to use Leo more first. Just because he's got pretty good range. He's like, obviously, he's got the second best range. And this fucking chainsaw man, which who knows what the hell he's from again. And these these boss things are kind of stupid because it's like, oh, it's a boss fight. It's like it's a regular enemy that I've seen this whole damn time. You know what? Just take me. I don't care. Stop moving. It's like, oh, that was a really tough boss fight, and that was a really tough jump, and I fucked it up. That's another thing. The jumps will frustrate you. Like that one up there because it's so damn close to the roof. Fuck you, you know that? No, I don't have to kill those things. Because you can't actually... I don't give a shit. You can't actually jump up there and make it. Come on, just... See, you're just ever so close, so you have to freaking go up and why the hell are you back? Freaking respawning enemies. If you barely move off screen to, to the respawn point, they'll just respawn again. That's also really annoying. Isn't there a pizza over here? Yeah. I don't care, there's pizza. Okay, yeah, I get to fight your damn brother. Just die. Like I said, if you don't have to kill it, don't kill it. And let's see if I can make this jump without fucking it up right off the bat. That's not a good start. That's really not a good start. Yeah, my rhythm got thrown. Fucking hell. I need to stay in rhythm more. Fuck, no, can I slash those? Oh, Leo's not trying to take them out in one shot. You fucker. Get a bladder. Alright, come on now. <laughs> God damn it. There. Jesus. And you know what? What really bothers me? Why the hell did we have to go through the building? Couldn't we just, like, ninja rope to the roof or something? I mean, shit. Or even just climb up? Come on. Some fucking ninjas. And this is the real part of the level, the dam. Actually swimming in the water, and, again, switch to the weakest, quote-unquote, turtle. So I switched to Raph so that his health can eat shit. And you just have to disarm all these bombs, and you've got a time limit, but honestly, as long as you're not just fucking around, you'll be fine. The time limit's not an issue. You just really gotta watch your health. And as long as you know the path to take, it's not too complicated, but up here first and get this bomb, it makes it easier so you don't have to backtrack at all. Then go right back down, because we got one down here in the corner. And don't fall into that, uh, seaweed, whatever shit, because it's an instant kill. If you lose one of your turtles, there are certain spots that, uh, in each stage that you can recover. There's like maybe three or so points where you can get back a turtle. But after that, that's it. You'd have to use a continue. Come on, swim faster. But hopefully we won't be losing any turtles. And then, if you've seen my Bart's Nightmare video, that's the electric seaweed shit that I was talking about. Not too bad here, but later it's gonna be a real pain in the ass. And this part here, you can't see it, fuck. But there's a current pushing you right, 
which helps you when you're trying to actually reach the bomb. When you when you're here, now you're slow going back, so you're gonna take a hit unless you stop in the middle. But it's really hard to. So I generally just say fuck it and take the hit. Fuck. Down. All right, you know what? that's about normal. Come on. Just a game of patience. Let's go. Two more bombs left? No, three. God damn, I hate swimming left. It's so slow. Let's go! Turtles are hella fucking slow. Oh, come on, it's supposed to stop. My timing's all off. And actually, we're gonna switch, uh... Normally I'd wait to get to the whole critical life blinking siren noise thing, but, uh, fuck it. And see, plenty of time. Ooh, ooh. Got through that without taking any damage. Alright, that was a lot easier than when I was a kid. But we're just gonna chill here for a second until the music kicks in. Yeah, okay. I remember one time, I don't know how it happened, but after I disarmed this bomb, the timer didn't stop, and then I realized, oh shit, I missed one of the bombs back there somehow. But by that point, it's it's too too late to go back, so I pretty much just got fucked, and I was like, ah, oh, hell. I might have restarted at that point, I don't know. And now we get to go back home. And our whole place got fucking wrecked. Master, no! And then Shredder magically comes on the TV and broadcasting to us somehow, I don't know. Blah, blah. If I was there, I would fucking just like change the channel on him. He's like, you know, I have captured Splinter. Click! So that's just great. Have Splinter, we save April, then we lose Splinter, and you know what? Can we just trade you back, you know? Give us Splinter and I'll give you April back. Let's go and save him. How much you go save him, bitch? I don't do a damn thing to help. Oh yeah, stage three. All right, this one's gonna be a little bit longer than stages one and two. So, all right, that's it for this first video. So, in the next one, we'll start stage three. So, I'll see you then.